The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi power plant poured boric acid solution into the crippled number two reactor for one hour from shortly before 3 a.m. on Wednesday. The move followed the detection of a radioactive substance, xenon, in the reactor's containment vessel, indicating that nuclear fission may have resumed. No! Hold it! Last Friday, Tokyo Electric Power began operating equipment to remove radioactive substances from the number two reactor. The device sucks out gas from the containment vessel and filters out radioactive materials. The company has been analyzing the types of radioactive substances and their density near the outlet of the device. On Tuesday, TEPCO detected Xenon-133 and Xenon-135 substances that are produced during the nuclear fission of uranium-235. The company says the half-life of Xenon-133 is five days, and the possibility of nuclear fission inside the reactor cannot be excluded. TEPCO says even if nuclear fission has resumed, it should be on a small scale, as there have been no major changes in the temperature or pressure of the reactor or radiation levels at monitoring posts around the compound. The government's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says it's unlikely that nuclear fuel has begun melting again, as the density of the xenon is low and the reactor temperatures have not changed. They won't die. In fact, that'll be our motto. They won't die. The Japanese government will open the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant to media for the first time since the March 11th disaster. I've got a golden ticket. I've got a golden chance to make my way. Nuclear crisis minister Goshi Hosano says journalists will be allowed into the facility on Saturday next week. I never had a chance to shine, never a happy song to sing, but suddenly half the world is mine. What an amazing thing, because I've got a golden ticket. We're now moving forward to achieve a cold shutdown at the plant by the end of the year. Because I'd have said it couldn't be done, but it can be done. We're also checking on the safety. Jumping crocodiles, Charlie. We've got a lot to do. Call me here, wash your face, polish your shoes. The government wants to do a cold shutdown by ears in. Cold shutdown means the temperatures of reactors are kept at less than 100 degrees Celsius. I never thought that I would be slapping the lap of luxury, because I'd have said... It couldn't be oh, done. But it could be done. Ooh. Bolsonaro says he'll visit the plant to check on the process and speak with workers. And he says he'll let a fixed number of journalists come with him because the situation at the plant is gradually settling down. I never thought my life could be anything but catastrophe. But suddenly I begin to see a bit of good luck for me. Veterans of the Chernobyl nuclear cleanup operation have been battling police outside Ukraine's parliament in Kiev. Some 1,000 so-called liquidators broke down a metal fence, protesting planned cuts to their social benefits. Shame, the demonstrators cried outside the chamber, defending their right to the payments for the sacrifices they've made. I've already had two heart attacks. I came because I don't have anything to buy medicine with. I simply don't have enough, he laments, saying his last small change has been taken away. I have a wife and two kids. Asked what he'll do next, he's defiant. We'll take Parliament down brick by brick and hang the MPs one by one. It's 25 years since Chernobyl, the world's worst nuclear accident, sent a radioactive cloud over much of the former Soviet Union and many countries in Europe. With cleanup workers in the front line, controversy still rages over the number of deaths, with estimates ranging from dozens to thousands.
John, Bagley, I want to see you. No, no, it was just a couple of fuses, Blue. Stitches coming out in a week. Listen, we've got to talk about this pimple cream. Yeah, yeah, I know he has. Forget the problems. I'll take care of the problems. They're gonna love waiting for it. It's a massacre. But I gotta warn you, at first it might sound ridiculous. It's radical and not without its risks, but I'm certain I can pull it off. Until he hit upon a brilliant advertising strategy. The truth. Paramount Pictures presents The Freak. This movie won't just scare you, it will fuck you up for life. Jaguar, for men who'd like hand jobs from beautiful women that you hardly know. Let's not lie, Steve. Let's level with America. We can't level, you crazy asshole. We're in advertising. So his company rewarded him by putting him in a mental facility. Hello, I'm William Holden. Hi. I'm Kathy. Hold me. Please hold me. Oh, oh, well, I am holding you. Well, I know it's a female thing. We say it a few times. Oh. We're maniacs! Ask who else! Who? But now the public is hooked on the honest cell. This honesty, I, it's a terrific concept. We don't know much about it. I want to get you on it. And Emery hey. can barely keep up with the demand. Until he gets a little help. I'm quite visibly moved. From some people who can barely keep up with reality. We know you love him, but if he happens to die, we give you two Mercedes and a summer home. Wouldn't that be nice too? John Hancock. Crazy people. I'm going to run some Caucasians down today. You have to be a little nuts to tell the truth. Who here wants to be an ad man? Who here wants to be a fire engine? Crazy people. You're chain smoking, darling. I know I am. I know I am. I'd like another vodka martini. Dry as a bone. Twist no olive. Spritzer, please. I tell you, Julie, I'm out of my mind. I'm getting nowhere. Zero. Stop getting so wound up about it. It'll come. And please put that cigarette out. That's three in ten minutes. <laughs>